Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Steven. I just wanted to recap uh, a video. This is a video personal to me. I wanted to make a video, kind of like a surprise. So I just wanted to tell all you guys out there, Facebook fans, they're not just fans, but I mean, I'm not trying to say I'm some kind of goddess or anything, but uh, my friends are out there, okay? If they're Facebook friends or anything that do like me and my music, that I like playing every day and everything. Uh, thank you very much. I love music. It's part of my life. The biggest part of my life. One of the biggest parts of my life. But I wanted to go ahead and override that because to exhibit B because really the biggest part of my life is okay, Cindy is the biggest part of my life, guys. Okay, the truth is if it wasn't for Cindy, okay, Things wouldn't happen the way they were are now. Me being here today in 2004, okay, my wife left me. And if my mother wasn't around back then, before she got cancer, come back, when before I came back, and because it wasn't, it was, she didn't have cancer back then. Um, and my stepdad, you know, took care of me too, also. I'm not like the invalid, nothing like that, guys. I'm just saying for the record, <clears throat> keep my sanity and everything. And I went to clubs back then because what else is it to do when you know you know separating between your wife and you, you know? But uh, what I'm here to say is, I just about ended my life in 2004. I took everything possibly you could think in the book, you know, and, and I didn't give a damn. I did some screw ups, you know, and I'm, I'm here today to testify. I've been there to the, down to the dirt, down to the nitty gritty. So I don't just take medicine for fun, okay? But back then, I didn't give a fuck. I drink alcohol, drink the strongest whiskey, drink everything, okay? So I took morphine. I took uh, Oxycontin. I got off somebody. I traded somebody with 10 Xanax, Xanax, Xanax bars for some Oxycontin, some Primo stuff. I got some 120s. I got some 80s. 80 OCs just before the change of law. You see, see, that's when I was abusing. Okay, I fucked up totally. Yeah, I wasn't thinking I crushed up the pill because you were able to crush it up back then. I didn't smoke nothing. I don't believe in smoking it. I didn't believe in shooting it up. <clears throat> okay, I had a good old time. Okay, I had a friend that gave me some fentanyl. I don't know if you guys know about law of fentanyl. I had the fentanyl suckers, so I started sucking on them. And I had a good time. Okay, I started feeling good. Okay, about two to three hours later, I'd say. Okay, then I started feeling like a burnout. And I got a bad, bad headache. I felt like I was bleeding internally in my, my brain. I mean, then I started worrying and stuff. I started saying, oh shit, this stuff's counteracting. So, I mean, I had mango narcotics. I even smoked some weed that night, too. You know, for the record, I must smoked some dope weed. Then after that, I finally started going to NA meetings, you know. Because I liked I liked going to any meetings. It was fun, you know. Along along with my jobs and stuff, I was doing the normal jobs, learning my medical and taking care of you know, my mom, taking care of other clients and stuff like that. But I was still going to meetings because people just because you're in the medical field doesn't mean you cannot experience being in the system, guys. It doesn't mean that you're above people that are addicts. Okay, you can turn into an addict in a second. It turns you on. I mean, there's different ways of a little light switch. I turn a light bulb up there, it turns on, right? I mean, there's different light, there's different pinpoints on the body that turn on switches. Okay, anyway, I want to get to the point. Okay, after I met, okay, well, I met a girl named Brandy. Okay, uh, okay, in Las Vegas, it brightened my life up a little bit for a while, and she was in her 20s. I was in my 30s. <clears throat> anyway, I was a little bit older for her, and I was, I'm 41 now, but still. Um, to tell you the truth, my mom and, okay, this way for Cindy, because I know that's not Cindy back then, because you can't count this against Cindy or, or I. Okay, I went to go meet her in Las Vegas, and, you know, she wanted more than what I wanted, okay, guys? I mean, she wasn't, I mean, my, uh, my mom's, okay, my stepdad, he had eyes for her, 
He says, you be stupid, Steve, and then pass her up. Okay. Dumb. Dumb and pass her up. I say, why? Just because of looks? And he goes, well, that's part of it. And he says, I'm a truck driver. You know, I see women every day, pretty women every day. And uh, I say, what are you trying to say? He said, well, you got yourself a, a woman right there. I said, well, I don't know her more than five minutes of here, but I know her on the computer, guys. I mean, let's be honest, right? Okay, but Cindy came afterwards. Okay, this was how close it was for Brandy moving in with me to my place. About one inch away. Okay, I was on the phone with Cindy for the record. Saying, you know what? Because I fell in love with Cindy afterwards. I said she wasn't, I mean, Brandy wasn't well. I was looking for all she wanted was one thing. I'm going to say it nicely because I can't say it because the kid's around. Okay. I don't put the, the S word on there. So I'm going to say you guys forgot the rest. Okay. Now, that wasn't a problem. That, I'm not, I don't have no problem with that part. I could do it. Okay. But, okay. Um, well, how far would that go? She even she bought me boxers. She bought me a freaking underwear and sexy clothes. And this girl was so fucking crazy over me. And she freaking bought me anything crazy. Okay. I'm not talking about Sandy. I'm talking about somebody else. It's on Brandy. Okay. The, like drinking up. <laughs> anyway. Um, after that, I met Cindy. Okay. Online. Somehow, someway. God or something like that above. Must have struck me in the head after that OD or whatever I did, you know. And that all that oxy that one oxycon and that morphine, the mixture of weed kicked me in the ass and everything got me to NA for a while. Not because I wanted, I wasn't ordered to go to NA. I, I went to because I wanted to go and clean myself up a little bit. Okay, like the guy in the mafia and the Sopranos did when he sent him a freaking poor cat and he killed the cat. I mean, he. The poor dog or cat got suffocated because the guy was high on heroin, okay? And he, you know, he got his ass beat by his family because he, the poor animal died. You know, he didn't even know it. He was passed out on him. Anyway, he got an ass kick and I kicked their ass too. But anyway, I mean, that's not why I'm here today. I'm here today to tell you the truth. Okay, listen very carefully. Okay. Yes, I'm not married to Cindy. Okay, except I got a divorce, okay, with Venus, the penis, okay, and with, no, with Shannon. Her name is Venus, real name is Venus, but her name is Shannon, because she likes to be called Shannon, you see, my, ex, my ex-wife. Okay, we're together 15 years, she wanted to get pregnant right away and get my, have my kid, and here I am, I'm 21, okay, well... Okay, I knew the rules of what the trade was, and we met at the skating rink, okay? I used to go skating all the time. I love skating. Okay, she was underage. Okay, so I knew better what the rules were, and she didn't want to care about the rules. She wanted to break every rule in the book, you know, naturally. I fall into traps. I'm not perfect, okay? I, I was there. I'd done things. But thank God, the Lord above, whatever, you know. I guess uh, it's not that I don't want kids, okay, guys. It's not me that can't have kids. It was her, okay. I guess I kind of struck out twice for kids, but anyway, that's I don't. It's not her fault. Nobody's fault. But anyway, um, now that I'm with Cindy, now this new life, okay. I find myself, okay. I still have the dreams, but I find myself, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it's hard to explain. I sometimes blame, you know, the, I mean, thinking that, you know, how the, the old saying is, like, you, like when you watch Lifetime movies, I mean, like, the daughters see their daddies leaving their mothers. It, see, this is the opposite situation. This is not... Okay, I, I had money, okay, to put, to give to her, to get, I mean, not to get rid of her, but to get rid of her because she had... She was in so much in love with this person back, you know, this other person back east. So I had to let her go and just not pull her, hold her back and pull her back this way and reel her in. Because well, the last time I reeled her in, she came back and we were going to work on things when, when me and Brandy were together, okay? Um, anyway, um, Las Vegas girl. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I, I knew she was coming back, and here I am going out with another girl. 
But anyway, uh, to tell you the truth, um, we went to Vegas for gamble and everything. Um, but anyway, um, Cindy, uh, on the phone with I, and I says, how am I going to get rid of this other girl? Just tell the truth. I said, yeah, I'm going to tell the truth. I'm just going to tell her that I met somebody else, which I did. I met Cindy. And I'm going to, you know, I won't have her come out. So she did come out on July the 3rd. And we clicked. We clicked before that. Okay, guys. Not just that quick and look, anything that looks. We clicked because, okay, the first time she claimed she saw me after the cigarette, when she went out of the smoke a cigarette with mommy or my mom or whatever, you know, the, the, you know, uh, my stepfather liked her also too. But um, he says, hold on to her. You got a gift. And I said, yes, I know. I'm blessed, you know, to have a gift. Sandy's a very nice person. Okay, and then I find out, you know, she said lost her husband back in 2004. Okay, about the time I would do my other stuff, you know. But, uh, uh, just our failure. But anyway, I lost my wife, okay, ex wife. I'm sorry for calling her wife. I'm going to call her wife, ex wife, whatever. To, you know, natural falling out of love with me, you know. I mean, my thinking can got got me so deep into the hole to where what if thinking that's where anxiety comes in what if it happens again what if what if what if see that's what gets you in trouble is you keep asking yourself do you really love me that's what i always do to her sometimes i would say cindy is that true do you really love me you know, I've, I've caught myself, she's caught me a lot of times. She, I mean, she's getting sick of hearing me say, I'll repeat myself over and over again, okay? I know this, she probably didn't want me to say this to you guys or whatever, but I have to tell the truth, okay? How my feelings are, because otherwise, I have to go to a psychiatrist or whatever. I don't want to go to a psychiatrist. Okay, I feel that that's what I have to do to fulfill my heart. I have to tell her how I feel, otherwise if I don't tell her how I feel, she'll never understand how I feel, because I was hurt, stabbed in the back, okay, by the person I loved, which was my wife, we got married August 13th, coming up soon, 1995, okay, that's just an example, okay, not me and Cindy, this is me and, you know, Shannon, okay, I said that was not me. That's what she wanted you to be. I'll call her being this anyway. Okay, but anyway, I just want to give you a little bit of cap on how things went. We met in the, on AOL. Not not nothing to do with Facebook, guys. Okay, this is a way before I did a Facebook thing. I didn't know much about computers. I was, you know, barely learning how to turn on a button on a computer, guys. I don't know much about it. She's the phone expert. She's got into 4G's on a phone and she knows how to do this on a 4G, she knows how to do it, this ring tones on a 4G, she knows how to turn it up and encrypt it, I mean she, know, I mean, she knows all the, the programs she's learning how to do uh, her playlist, you know, and then and, and tag it off Evo, and all, I mean there, there's little codes and serenary, all these codes, synchronizing, that's what they call automatic synchronizing. But anyway, I'm going to have to make part two of this, it sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let it go for right now. And God bless every person I'm here. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I don't have any, you know, the, as an end of friendship for anybody. But you all have a good day. And I'm going to go ahead and think of what to say on part two. Thanks very much. Take care.